Welcome back to The Breakdown. I am De La Creme La, your privileged host. Yes, I am. And this is The Breakdown Show. Listen, y'all, I'm not going to have a whole lot of notes on this one. Um, I just want to share something with you. Now, uh, the last time we talked together, um, we were talking about the reasons why Tiffany Henyard would never come to the Park District. Well, I, think I dug up the video I was referring to of the last time she came to the Park District and what happened when she came. And you see the date, T with the trustees, 12, 11, 21. This is from the Dalton trustees page. Um, the video obviously is two years old. I wanted to come to you with this one partially because I made two episodes last night after the meeting, breaking down the meeting. There's still one more to go, but I brought the iPad that doesn't have cellular service and hotel uh, Wi-Fi is super slow when it comes to uploading. Um, so I'm going to have to wait until I return home from my vacation to give you those episodes. Obviously, Patreon, you will get them first. You know how we do. Um, you will get them first. My guarantee is always to give you to them, give them to you first in ample enough time for you to review them and, and digest them before everybody else. Um, but if you do want early access to these two episodes that we'll be uploading, feel free to join us on Patreon. Uh, patreon.com forward slash breakdown 555 555 I didn't choose that either but Amanda MBS you know how much I was so blessed to have it um, I didn't choose the 555 part Patreon did but they must know us they know we get into our numbers <laughs> and 555 is the number of change Yes, it is. Beautiful change. I'm not talking about pennies, nickels, and dimes. I'm talking about from here to there, from this to that. You understand what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm still feeling that um, solar eclipse energy, <laughs> that manifestation energy, and I'm basking it today. So but what we're going to do first is, uh, while I'm getting dressed to take my baby back to SeaWorld for day two, um, doing my makeup or whatever, we are going to take a look at this short moment from this Dalton um, Park District meeting or this meeting at the Dalton Park District. And you will see what happens when Tiffany Henyard is number one alone and number two, she doesn't have control. She will never allow this to happen again. Uh, let's go. On it yesterday. Sure. Anything you want to say? Good morning, everyone. I want to thank the Board of Trustees for inviting me out today to tea with the trustees. Um, first of all, I want to say happy holidays. I do have a previous event. I just want to come and show my support, show my face. Um, and if y'all got any questions or anything for me, I will be at Thorn Ridge High School uh, today between 11 and 2. We're giving away toys. We have a toy drive going on currently right now. So thank you for the invite. I appreciate it. Now, the reason why, now mind you, she said, notice she said, thank you for inviting me. She's always been invited. Every meeting, everything, she's always invited, just like everybody else, okay? She doesn't need a phone call. The, the things are, are posted, and she has an open invitation. If she wasn't such a bitch, um, then she wouldn't need a special invitation. She would just know that as part of the Dalton community, she's invited to. But she was obviously invited to this meeting. You see, she brought her baby. Um, and as a mother, I will tell you that there have been plenty of times when I brought my baby um, to a, a meeting or a place where kids necessarily shouldn't be because I knew that that would offer me a certain level of protection. Okay, ain't nobody going to arrest you, yell at you, cuss at you, go off on you when you got a baby in your arms. There's plenty of times I've gotten out of it because I had my baby with me. Worked more overseas. She's bigger now. She's not as cute as she was. But <laughs> you see, she got her baby. She could have had her assistant hold her baby while she had that conversation. But that was all for obstacles. Yeah, I said it, Tiffany Henry. I'm going to talk like you today because I think you're going to understand me better. No, I'm not. I can't lower myself that far. I just won't. I'm socially intelligent, but I'm not dumb. Okay? And I'm not about to lower my standards of speech. But, bitch, yeah, that was for obstacles. 
The reason why she had her baby with her was so that people would not be as harsh to her. That was to soften her image. It was, you got to remember, Tiffany is a consummate politician. She's not a civil servant. Everything she does is for optics. For optics. T say it with me, baby. Come on, Tiffany. Come on, come on, come on in the room, baby. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. I'm going to teach you how to say it. And you are going to repeat it. In the room, in the room. Say it with me, Tiffany. Up, up. You probably use that word all the time. Op. They the ops. They the ops because you so hood. Op. Op. Ticks. You know the things why people be having in their hair? Yeah. Ticks. Ticks. Op. Ticks. Just like that. Good girl. Op. Ticks. Yeah. Sometimes when you get to words that are a little bit harder to say because you have a thick tongue and you're partially retarded, just slow down. Yeah. That's what I taught my baby Tamir in China. He had a speech impediment too because the water there is really bad too. And he was he was uh, retarding in his intellectual ability, but I got to hold on to him a little bit longer while I taught him how to say certain words and taught him how to use his tongue. So let me help you out too, Tiffany. Up. Yeah, just like that. One more time and I'm going to let you go so we can continue to drag you in this video. Optics. 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 There you go. I don't know where the fuck you got optics from. Like, I don't even know where the fuck you got that from. You're lucky we knew what the fuck you were trying to say. Girl, if we put a compilation together of your mayoral career in the form of the words that you say and how you pronounce them, bitch. Shit. Good morning, everyone. I just and let me mention this, too. You see how she tried. She said, if you want to talk to me, I'll be at Thornwich High School today. Giving away stuff on the pet on the taxpayers' money. If you, I have no intention of answering any questions or getting to the nitty gritty in 2021. December, okay, this is right about time of the recall. I have no intentions of being honest and upfront with you in this setting. If you want to talk to me, come to a place where I will be surrounded by my people. I can control the audio and I can leave your presence when I get ready. I'm not answering no questions here today. But I'll stand here and look at you and hold my baby in defense of myself. But the people... The people, the people of Dalton who came to this meeting said, no, ma'am, you're here, bitch. Let's go. To have a question about finances and correct me if I'm wrong. When they decided to open dispensaries, I was under the impression that communities surrounding wherever it was open would get a feedback from the state based upon the taxes that was given. And from what I understand, the state has now made over $5 million. Do we get a kickback in Dalton because we're so close to Calumet City where the mission is? And also, when we speak of money and infrastructure, the money that was released, has it been released to the state? If, if not, when will it be released? And do you know what our portion will be? And could this help us to fix our streets and the infrastructure we need around here? If anybody can answer. Well, finance, transfer, we do get money from the dispensary in County City. There's, there's, a, portion, there's a portion of the money from the dispensary that, get, that we get to them. We get a percentage. Oh, from the dispensary? Yes. Have yeah. we been getting it? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I, can, the, I can give you exact effect money. I don't have it in front of me. Yeah, I mean, we, it, it comes up. It's, it's a cannabis. Um, it, what did that have to do with anything? I'm sorry. Or getting it. Miss <laughs> Price? My name again. Sure. And um, 
you know, I, I know when I look at the meetings, you're saying everything is going great and you have an excellent team. This is the problem that I'm having, and I'm so glad that I've seen you because you're at the top and it should be resolved. I'm still getting estimated bills and I have the pad outside my house, so the people don't even have to come into my basement to read my meter. Why am I getting estimated bills? I talked, I came in, Carmen was in the office. She called over to the director, which is uh, William Moore. He couldn't speak to me, so he, uh, they, she said that he said he would call me at two. He called me. But when I spoke to him, it sounded like I was talking to a Hispanic person because when you had all your heads, department heads, Mr. Moore sounds so different mm -hmm. from what he was on TV with you. And the, the person on the phone told me that you all didn't have enough people to read the meters. And I said, well, why am I getting an estimated bill when I have the iPad in front of my home? And I just think this is not fair. And if anything, I shouldn't be getting an estimated bill when all they have to do is tab it. And I just hope that you can make sure that this gets fixed. And by us not having open meetings, that's probably why you don't know. And we. It, each neighbor don't know what the other neighbor is going through because it's like we're censured. Really, I don't like it. I know you don't want everything to come up about what's been going on in the village, about the gentleman that's the, uh, that was uh, the felon. You don't want all of that to come on the stream, so that's why you shut it down. But please listen to our voice. This is our village. And when I came into the village, it seemed so cold. Every door was shut, closed. I have never came into the village hall where it seemed so cold. Don't nobody want to be bothered. Dorothy don't want to talk to nobody. And it's just the truth, you know. Please fix the situation with my water bill because you ran on that. And like I said, I have an iPad. Nobody's never came to my door to even read my meter. I never got a yellow card in front of the door, nothing. And the reason why I'm just finding out now, last year I contracted COVID, I almost died in the ICU. So at that time my husband was picking up the bills and just telling me how much it was. And I would send him to pay it. But as I got better, I said, let me look my bill up. And I kept seeing the numbers with the E on the end. I was like, something is not right. And when I talked to the so-called Mr. Moore, I had gave him three bills to look at, but I felt he should have hit the computer to see when this, uh, when my pad was installed mm -hmm. and take it from there to be able to tell me how many estimated bills I have. So, Miss Madam Mayor, please fix this because things are not going right. And I told Carmen, I said, the mayor has a lot of bad things going on and she don't need this. You all are supposed to be able to fix this. It shouldn't even get to her, stuff like it that, the water right bill. Y'all need to get it together because it's, she's already in a bad situation. So that's all I have to say. Please, would you fix my water bill situation because right now I'm not working. And I, I know I cannot pay for an estimated bill when I tried to do the right thing and pay the whole bill. I've been paying the whole bill. So when you were saying that people are not paying their bills, I've been paying. At least I thought I was paying. So... I mean, please look at me when I talk to you. I, I have a pet peeve about that. Please. Please. I mean, that's only respect, and I know your parents raised you respect. Thank you. I want to go back. <clears throat> I want to go back real quick um, for a hot second. She exposed a lot, didn't she? In that question that she just asked the mayor of Dalton, she exposed a lot that is going on inside that village. And that was 2021. So, you know, in 2021, Tiffany Henry was having Zoom meetings instead of in-person meetings when everybody else was having in-person village, uh, village meetings, board meetings. She was still having Zoom meetings because she figured out by that time that the, the, the people had figured her out and the people had to make her start having meetings at village hall she didn't want to do that so what she's doing now in march and april of 2024 is no different than what she wanted to do she never wanted to have meetings at the village because she did not like being confronted and held accountable by the people 
And even then she had changed public comment to two minutes, three minutes with no response. And here this lady is saying, would you please look at me while I'm speaking to you? Jennifer Roberts, former mayor of Charlotte, me and you have had the same conversation. Because when you would see me around town doing what I had to do, you come up with your security and speak and make your presence known. Hey, just wanted to let you know we were here. Thanks for taking care of the city. Oh, we didn't know black people were being killed by the police. We'll get right on it. But then when I go to a actual city council meeting where I'm slated to speak on the schedule, number one, you tried to bump me with somebody else. And I had to tell that nigga to stand down or I was going to get his restaurant shut down. Nigga, I'm on the schedule to speak. I don't give a fuck what your name is. And if Jennifer Roberts got a problem with it, then I'm going to be you tonight. Yes, I did. I had to tell that man, no, no, sir. When you get up to speak, you better say the right thing or I'm going to have everybody in here shut your shit down. You will not have a restaurant. You see what your neighbors are looking like right now. Mm -hmm. Get it right. Like Lacey said, you better get it right. And then he gave his spot to me after he spoke. No, we are not about to do that. And had to stand in front of Jennifer Roberts riddled with fucking rubber bullets and tear gas and all kind of PTSD. And the bitch wouldn't even look me in my eye. Why am I 168 pounds then, not now, being hit with rubber bullets by police who are twice my size? Why did a man die at my feet and y'all told my mama on the news he was well and alive, but I knew he was dead? Why? And the bitch wouldn't even look me in the eye. I had to read off the signs that were in the room because she didn't want to look up from her desk. I know exactly what this lady is talking about. And she's sitting here begging, which is exactly what Tiffany Henry loves, y'all. I'm paying my water bill. You coming in talking about bitch better have my money, but I'm paying my shit. And y'all still ain't getting it right. And Tiffany Henry don't even want to look her in the eye. So I'm going to go back a little bit just because I was scared in the crowd and I want to see what her while this lady was talking what her physical response y'all need to get it together because it's, she's already in a bad situation so that's all i have to say please would you fix my water bill situation because right now i'm not working and i, I know i cannot pay for an estimated bill when i tried to do the right thing and pay the whole bill i've been paying the whole bill so when you were saying that people are not paying their bills i've been paying at least I thought I was paying. So, I mean, please look at me when I talk to you. I, I have a pet peeve about that. Please. Please. I mean, that's only respect, and I know your parents raised you respect. Thank you. She ain't got no money yet, huh? Listen, some of us had parents. She don't have no parents. She had people who gave birth to her and uh, allowed her mindset and her mentality to make it out into the world. Some of our jobs as parents is to literally mold our children from that nasty, vindictive, whatever, the way that they come into the world and help them understand the world ain't going to put up with that shit. Okay? And I'm going to be the one to help you understand how much the world ain't going to put up with that shit. I'm going to be the one to help you see that there are consequences to your behavior and the way that you think and the way that you move. But no, nah, Tiffany Henry had parents who just let her be who the fuck she is. She ain't got no real mama and daddy who would have got in her ass at the risk of their own relationship with her at some point to be honest with her and say, you are a destructive person. You are probably most likely a, a victim of my trauma in your life. And I'm going to take some responsibility and make it better. But y'all, when I finally get to with her mama speaking, you'll see where the issues are. But let's continue. Mike, I want that. We got another mic. Uh, uh, can you get it? Oh, she, she wants to say something. Come here, wife. Go ahead, Miss Charmaine. Take this one. Good morning. I just have I just have one issue. As you know, the weather is getting ready to be bad out here. We probably going we supposed to have a lot of snow and everything. And on my block it's a lot of senior citizens with their cars are really low to the ground. So if they have to go on an errand and the snow is high like that, they cannot get out. 
So I was wondering if, if it gets like that, can we have the village of Dalton come down the alley so we can get out and take care of our errands and stuff when, when the weather gets bad and we get a lot of snow? Okay, thank you. I still, and this ain't got nothing to do with nothing. I'm just going to say this. I say it all the time, so I'm going to say it again. You can leave Dalton. You can leave Illinois. You can leave the Midwest. Bitch, you can leave America. You ain't got to live nowhere where you got to beg somebody to remove the snow from the front of your house so that you can get in your car and go to the store. Okay? I said around 2007, after I followed the unction to move to North Carolina and it snowed once. Mm -hmm. I said to the one I thought was my God at the time, I found out he's actually probably one of my colleagues. Um, I said to him, send me, I'll go. Okay, nigga. But long as it don't snow, bitch. God damn. Do I didn't come from this shit. I was brought to this shit. You can leave. You don't have to stay there, ma'am. I know that somebody said last night, shout out to y'all for staying. But too many times we've been raised to stay in places we don't want to be in. You can leave. Okay? I just wanted to say that. Yeah, I and Jim. First of all, professional bitch, put your baby down. Oh, I think she got a little delay. Oh, poor thing. Um, I hope she gets the help she needs. Um, Tiffany Henry, put your child down. Let somebody else hold your child. First of all, that baby is three years old. Look how big she is. We get it. We understand you want everybody in here to feel bad for you because you got a baby and the blah, blah, blah. For whatever reason, that's not going to get you the sympathy you want. You chose to be the mayor. You uh, asked, literally, to be the mayor. So we don't care if you have a child, a dog, a pet goldfish, a hamster, or a pet rock. You are the mayor of this village. Put your child down. Whoever watches your child while you at the village with Keith Freeman in the middle of the night, because you said y'all work all night. Oh, I know that thing. I know that thing. Because Keith Freeman don't, don't seem like the type to take deodorant to work with him. Tangentique don't either. And that's probably why Janice Johnson always got that grocery bag full of hygienic products for y'all. Because y'all be rank on the dais. Listen, put your baby down and have this fucking grown ass professional conversation. And why do you have a mask with your name on it? If that's not the wackest shit I've ever seen. Bitch, who are you? What's your name? Because we obviously must have forgot. What Roy jo Jones Jr. say, y'all must have forgot, forgot, forgot. Y'all must have forgot I'm the mayor. Y'all must have forgot I'm a player. Y'all must have forgot. <laughs> y'all must have forgot. Bitch, this is corny. This is corny. And I call her hen shart. It's more appropriate. But let's see what she has to say. <laughs> She's not a Even with a mask on. Uh huh. Go with somebody else so I can be an adult for a moment and have this adult conversation and not use the expression. All right. All right. Take your fucking mask off. Uh, I want to address a couple of things. Oh, Lord. One. Y'all know when she horse like that, she about to lie. Her lies are tired before they even got started. Either that or she been yelling all morning at justice because she's got a habitual addiction to chaos and the chemicals in her body that chaos brings. So even if she doesn't have to go to work, she probably still fussing at her baby. Fucking ugh, she need help. The recall. I don't think any elected official should ever be recalled for their seat. Especially when they ain't done anything wrong. As well. well, if that was the case, then there would never be an option to recall. If no elected official should ever be recalled, then there should be no option to recall. But that's a legal recourse for a reason. 
I'm not taking no notes. So I'm just going to bust in here and talk. And then I'll let you guys go back and listen to it. Because I'm not taking no notes. I'm in the bathroom getting dressed. Um, she didn't respond to anything anybody else has said. First of all, let me teach you some customer service skills since you're not teaching the folks at the call center. Um, acknowledge what these people said. Y'all, I really appreciate you being so open and honest with me this morning. I thank you for allowing me to come into this space with you and you give me your feedback. It is of the utmost importance to me. As you know, I've only been your mayor for about six months and I brought in a whole lot of shit. Some bad reputation, some criminal history, some bad business practices. I don't clean. I don't wash dishes. I come from a horrible hygienic environment when it comes to my businesses. So I really thank you for your honesty today. Ma'am, I will definitely make note. I have somebody right here um, that I'd like you to talk to afterwards so I can shuck you off to them and never speak to you again about your water bill. Um, and other people with the questions that I can't answer right now, you know, I really am thankful for you being here here i feel your frustration i know we got off to a rough start but i definitely want to be here for you and make this right if you choose to recall me that is your legal right just like you chose to vote for me that is your legal right not an obligation but definitely a right so i'm gonna stand behind whatever decision you guys make because who wants to be the mayor of people who don't want you to be their mayor but this is what she chose to say instead All right, uh, I want to address a couple of things. One, the recall. I don't think any elected official. Oh, wait a minute. Y'all didn't catch that? We're going to do that again. Because this is how self-important this bitch is. All right. All right. Why, why she need the mic wiped off just for her? She's trying to get her shit together. All right. Are you going to tell him thank you for wiping your mic off just for you? Are you going to appreciate the fact that he gave you a special bit of respect, even though you haven't given him what he deserves? Are you going to show any sort of class or grace or compassion or elegance in this moment? Are you? No. You're just going to get straight to your defense. Okay. Uh, I want to address a couple of things. One, the recall. Oh, sure. I don't think any elected official should ever be recalled for their seat, especially when they ain't done anything wrong okay. as it relates to corruption, uh, theft, bribery, kickbacks, or anything. Wait, any elected official should ever be recalled for their seat. Right. Especially when they ain't done anything wrong as it relates to corruption, uh, theft, bribery, kickbacks, or anything. Uh, I want to address a couple of things. One, the recall. I don't think any elected official should ever be recalled for their seat. Especially when they ain't done anything wrong as it relates to corruption, uh, theft, bribery, kickbacks. What the fuck is bribery? Is that a process you take meat through to prepare it for aging or something? Bribery? Yes, you, ugly. What the fuck is bribery? Is she retarded? Are her eyes pointing in the same direction right now? You know, they say something about when you look in a person's eyes and you can see the white all around their pupils, that's a sign of a psychopath. Well, you can't see the white all around her pupils, but it's a whole lot of white. Bribery? Yeah, you're proud of that, huh? So you're saying that if a person doesn't show evidence of corruption, the legal right that the people who elected them have to recall that election should not take place because they haven't proven to be corrupt or have bribery or whatever else you said. That you have bribery. That's called, in your world, extortion. Pay to play, honey. And yes, you do. You do it. You you participate for anything. In that. Don't get me wrong. As a board member, I know 
Deep in my heart, the difference is between bickering, fighting amongst each other. I've been on that board for eight years. Eight years, and I went back and forth with several different people on that board. But no one recalled anyone. Because at the end of the day, you are elected by the people. I got over 82% of the vote here in the village of Dalton. So that means that the people voted me in. Now, it may be some people that may not like me, just like it's some people. So if the people voted you in, why would you restrict the people from the right to vote you the fuck out? Because people make mistakes. Just like you can get married and have that marriage annulled within a certain amount of time and given a certain amount of, given a certain set of circumstances, you can, you can recall that marriage. Uh, when, I, when I post one of our episodes, our next breakdown episodes, you'll see that while I was on the episode, uh, while I was filming, I actually got a notification um, of a invitation from my, one of my former pastors inviting me to my 20th anniversary celebration with my husband. That's crazy um, because I guess today would have been the day, the 20th anniversary of my wedding day. Um, and I found it very, very interesting in the moment. I don't remember what I was talking about with you guys, but I felt the need to say nothing has to be forever. If you get into something and it's not right, you can get out. You can get out. You can recall any legal commitment. You can. Any legal agreement can be recalled. It may be called a divorce. It may be called an annulment. It may be called a recall. There are different ways to, um, to end a legal commitment, a legal binding agreement. And that's all it ever is. Um, <laughs> so, you know, yeah, people do have a right to recall you. Doesn't it, doesn't it sound strange that, uh, quote unquote, 82% of the people would vote you in, but you wouldn't give them the right to vote you out when that is their legal right. But now you're sitting here trying to talk them out of it. This is what you chose to use this time for. But notice what she can't do. She can't tell people not to talk. She can't cut people's mics off. There is no hierarchy. She's standing there by herself. In this moment and watch what happens that may not like the trustees but at the end of the day i would never recall them that's why you don't see me doing it and i don't think that they should be able to recall me i've earned my seat i've earned my stripes and i've been in this in this village over 30 some years i grew up here so for those of you just like some people that may not like the trustees but at the end of the day i would never recall them that's why you don't see me doing it and i don't think that they should be able to recall me i've earned my seat I've earned my stripes, and I've been in this in this village over 30 some. Yeah, she was about to say in this business. She sure was. She was about to say, I've been in this business for over 30 years of selling drugs and pimping hoes. She was about to say business. She wasn't about to say village. Hold on. Sorry, I got to take my vitamins. The older you get, the more you have to take. <laughs> Hold on. I'm almost there. She was about to say, I've been in this village for 30 years. In this business. I've been slinging this dope and breaking in cars for a long time. So. It's going to take a whole lot more than that to get me out. Years I grew up here. So for those of you that saying recall, I think that's unfair to me and unfair to my family because I did nothing wrong. I've earned my seat just like everyone that ran with me earned their seat. As relates to anything going on in the village, I'm not afraid to open up Village Hall. We have orders by the governor, and I will post a letter this week since everybody feel that I'm scared to open up Village Hall. We cannot open because every time it's a new variant, a new variant. I guess people want to be sick. And I was afraid to bring my daughter here because they young. They, they mean it's not a... Isn't she on her way to Thornton High School where she's doing a huge Christmas toy giveaway? Where there's like two or 300 people there waiting for her to give them some free nigga goods. Because they chose not to buy their kids Christmas presents. They chose instead to probably buy a crack or something. And now they're going to go let somebody else buy their kids Christmas presents or whatever their kids get they better be happy for. There's no, no, mommy, I want this. Mommy, can you buy me that? Mommy, I've been really being good. Can I have that? Nope, you're going to get whatever the mayor gave you because I chose not to buy uh, 
Christmas toys. I chose to buy crack instead. So we're going to be dependent on our welfare queen to give us some, some toys for Christmas. Now, I know for a fucking fact that there's going to be a lot of people there because we've all seen the videos of that event. You know she showed it during a meeting. So I'm having a hard time understanding how you can sit here and tell people that they cannot, um, what am I trying to do? Change the mirror light. That they cannot uh, meet over government orders, but you can ready to go to a whole meeting, bitch. Do you think people are stupid? Is that what it is? Like, do you think you're going to sit here and tell these people this and they're just going to believe it because you said, I mean, I know you feel like they were stupid enough to vote for you. But from what we understand, based on what Dr. Nikki said, you was just the last person left, honey. They didn't even really vote for you. People didn't vote for you. <laughs> Nobody voted. What they say, 8,000 people voted in that election. You didn't even get, you didn't even, you didn't even, um inspire people to come out and vote that's crazy isn't it tiffany barack obama inspired people to come out and vote people who never voted before what did uh donald trump say <laughs> during the pandemic people are dying who have never died before can you believe that what he meant was rich white people who usually had enough money um or clout to help them with their medical situations were actually dying because they weren't ready for this. That's what he really meant. But he said people were dying who never died before. And I'm glad I wasn't one of them. Shout outs to me for being smart enough to be in another country when the pandemic hit. Um, Cause man, I, I sent all the word back to America. My mom was like, Jesus ain't wearing no mask. So I sent her a picture of Jesus wearing a fucking mask. God damn it. But she's sitting here lying because there aren't any orders. All the other villages, townships, or what have you are actually meeting in person at this very time in history. What she's saying right now is not true. Okay, let's continue. Strong is ours. So at the end of the day, we cannot open up Village Hall until uh, after the 11th of December is what the letter states. He extended it uh, last month. He extended it again this month. More than likely, he's going to extend it again. My goal is to open up Village Hall come the beginning of the year, January. January 3rd is my goal to open up Village Hall going into the new year. And as a or anything like that. I have a big base. I have a lot have, of people that actually support me. And like, really, does she ever have this uh, uh, response when the mics go out in Dalton? Tapping the mic, trying to figure out what happened? No, because she already knows. She's already well aware in Dalton that the mics are going to go out. That's why when the trustees tell her that the people on YouTube are saying the mics aren't working, she says, oh, they can hear. I know they can. I just turned the button on. What I'm doing in this community. So some of you say that um, I'm doing a lot of bad things. I'm not. I'm doing a lot of great things in the village of Dallas. A lot of things got done within six months since me being in office as mayor over eight years of the ex-mayor being in office. So no one can sit here and say that I'm not doing what's needed for the people. Oh, people Everything's getting done as it relates to streets, alleys we never done, sidewalks, tree trimming. Everything's getting done as it relates to the crime in town. Uh, we have been doing foot patrol. We've been doing a lot of outreach to community. And I, I command Andrew Holmes because Andrew Holmes, I always, always support everyone's. Command or commend? You commend. And honey, you say a lot that is so wrong. And see, the thing about arrogance that I used to try to tell my ex-husband is you don't realize how dumb you are, but everybody else does. That's the fucking tricky thing about arrogance. You don't understand that you don't know. Ni booming by. You don't know. And you have this cloud of delusion as if you are a lot more grand than you really are. And you sitting here saying the wrong words for everything. But you the mayor. You the leader. You the one they came to see. No, ma'am, you don't command Andrew Holmes. You commend him. And by the way, yeah, Andrew Holmes told people not to trust you. I'm sure you've seen that by now. 
Andrew Holmes put out the word that the mayor was wrong about what happened with uh, Alexis Wilson. Andrew Holmes said the mayor should have been here talking to you. Nibu, shuya, shisha. Um, Andrew Holmes was the one who said she should have been here. The mayor should have been here. She should have had, came to your house and had a conversation with you and been open, honest about what happened with your daughter. Andrew Holmes told Dr. Nikki Cloud, based on her word, not to trust you, Tiffany Henyard. Was he right? I'm sure he's learned by now how right he was because you put his shit out there to get the shit off of you. You you had fake uh, news out here thinking Andrew Holmes got arrested just so people would be talking about him instead of you. Anything to get the heat off of you on a Friday, huh? Events and he always on the street. Me and him door knock, we walk. So when everybody get in town, uh, we have been doing foot patrol. We've been doing a lot of outreach to community. And I, I commend Andrew Holmes because Andrew Holmes, I always, always support everyone's events. And he always on the street. Me and him door knock, we walk. So when everybody get keep on blasting each other, it's not fair. You guys say y'all want unity, but here we go. And it's like a little mini hate group. That's not cool. If we all people and we all Christian and we all say we forgive each other, you guys supposed to do the same thing. So me walking in here We're just showing me people. what people. We're all people. Now, I'm just going to go to this because, you know, that whole uh, notification on my phone brought a whole lot of memories back, which is amazing. I love it when that happens. It's a reminder of the healing. Because um, we had some good times in that marriage. We had a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> a whole lot of fun. <laughs> Listen. I want you to hear what she just said again. Make my it's time. not fair. You guys say y'all want unity, but here we go. And it's like a little mini hate group. That's not cool. If we all people and we all Christian and we all say we forgive each other, you guys are supposed to do the same thing. So me walk. We're all people. Okay. We're all Christian. How do you know that? Have you done a census on the area to find out what their religious beliefs are, whether or not they're Christian, whether or not they are agnostic or um, you know, whether or not they are just spiritual or whether they follow a different religion like Buddhism, Hinduism, Taoism, you know, um, you know, whether they have a different belief system or are you just assuming that they're all Christian so that you can tap into that spiritual abuse? Because, you know, I don't think she says it here, but that was one step away from we're all black. She said we're supposed to forgive each other for what? What did you do? What did you do that they need to forgive you for? This lady commented on one of my videos where I was happy that Jaguar Wright and Lamar Whitehead got arrested. And she said, okay, God's going to need to cover you and he's not going to be there. And my response was, bitch, what do I need covering for? I'm not stealing. I'm not lying. I'm not cheating. I'm not sleeping with other people's husbands and doing all the things these people are doing. So what the fuck do I need covering for? I'm not wasting anybody's energy covering me. You could probably shit, cover, cover dinner, cover these cocktails, cover this vacation. You know what I'm saying? Put something on my car insurance. But goddamn, I don't need a covering. The last time I needed a covering, I got it because I didn't do anything wrong. The last time I needed a covering, I simply had to call one phone number that was permanently on my arm and permanent marker and say, hey, I got locked up. And they said, all right, we got you. $250,000 in seven hours. That was the covering I got because I didn't do anything wrong. There was a whole organization, organizations of people, gods, entities who supported me when I needed a covering. And they provided the covering that I needed. The Nation of Islam provided that covering for me. That's the only organization I'll mention. I'll keep the rest of them to themselves. Okay? The last time I needed a covering, it was because I was defending the, the uh, freedom of my people. So I went in with the protection, but I don't be around here lying, stealing, stealing, cheating, cheating on my taxes and doing all kind of crazy shit to have to need a covering. So I can celebrate somebody I've wanted to get arrested for a long time because they've been misusing the resources of the people. Jaguar Wright and Lamar Whitehead.
Jaguar, we still got you in a chokehold, huh? <laughs> Bitch. You still know if you ain't coming out talking about Jay, Jay Z and P. Diddy, keep your mouth shut. We put you in a nice little boundary. And that's all I wanted. I just wanted you to have a boundary so that you knew you couldn't be out here abusing people just because you had one song 20 years ago. So what's the forgiveness for, Tiffany? If, if they're all Christian, which you seem to know, which Christianity got about 50 denominations, believe everything, something different every week. A room of Christians can't get together and agree on the Bible. So what are you talking about? If we all Christians, we're supposed to forgive each other. What do they need to forgive you for? What did you do? That's got people needing to forgive you. You going to answer that? Or do we need to go to the Thornton, Thorn Ridge High School to get an answer to that question too? And he's just showing me what people think. And that's why I came to get your opinion. But at the end of the day, everybody's entitled to an opinion, a suggestion. But at the end of the day, we're supposed to talk to each other and figure out how to fix it. Not bash one another left to right. You don't see me bashing any of you. All I do is come, I talk to you, and I try to fix whatever the problem is that someone may have. And that's life. Life is trial and error. Ain't nothing going to be perfect. Ain't nothing going to go right within your first year in office. Because there's a whole lot of... Playing victim and the villain at the same time. As anybody know, I'm new to being mayor. I'm not new to being in government, just like it's a lot of trustees new to being trustees. And that's why you always hear me say, learn your position, just like I'm learning my position. So all I'm saying to you guys here in this room today, you have to give me a chance. You have to sit here and see what happens coming forward. You can't just always be upset at things that don't, don't go right all the time. It's the dialectic for me. It's the I'm your mayor. I've been in this village for 30 years. I was a trustee for eight years. I'm not not new to government i'm just new to being a mayor to the i'm inexperienced y'all gotta give me a chance that's the good that's what she told the trustees y'all just give me a chance if you guys know something i'll listen i depend on your intelligence i know you're the dream team whatever you want i'll do whatever you say and y'all were like okay we can control her so yeah let's go ahead and endorse her and then she turned on you and that's what people are scared about Lori lightfoot that she gonna play that same long neck turtle game have you ever seen a long neck turtle? Take a look at my uh, the the my two cents uh, playlist on this channel, and you'll see a long neck turtle. That bitch pop out that shell and be like, ooh, and you be like, God damn, I didn't know the neck could get that long. That's that damn Tiffany Henry. That probably that Lori Lightfoot too. Them long neck turtles that will deceive you, look like a regular turtle, and then you walk up to it and it got this long ass neck. So how can you be, I've been here for 30 years, I'm not new to this game, but you need to give me a chance. I'm new to this. Y'all, I hope y'all caught it. I be upset when stuff don't go right, but at the end of the day, I'm your leader. As your leader, I vow to make sure I protect the village of Dalton and do what's right. I have a two-year daughter to raise here, and I guarantee you I'm going to make it better because I want to raise her here. Because if I didn't, we would move. But right now, we're, we're planted here in the village of Dalton. So thank everybody for the comments. I have another engagement. If anybody need toys or anybody need anything, please come over to Thorn Ridge High School. We will be there from 11 to 2 p.m. And my voice a little hoarse. I've been talking all week. I just want everybody to know how I felt. And I still love everybody in here. And you still can reach out to me. My number is 708-297-6859. Again, 708-297-6859 if you need any, anything. Hold on, hold on, man. Mayor. 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 Mayor, you, you, honest, this is the constituents. It's the same thing that we did with as a board. Before Ed Steve tries to teach her how to be a leader in public, we're going to call that number again. Because the last time we called it, it was a Saturday afternoon, about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, my time. I think at the time I was Mountain Standard Time. Now I'm Pacific Time. Um, so let's go ahead and make that phone call. 
see if she answers. It's Tuesday, April 9th at 11.37 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I believe in Chicago right now, it is 1.37 in the afternoon. So let's make the phone call. All week. Answers. I just want everybody to know how I felt. And I still love everybody in here. And you still can reach out to me. My number is 708-297-6859. Again, 708-297-6859 if you need Call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Seven zero. Oh, she got a voicemail on that. Two nine seven six eight five nine is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hi, this is De La Clem De La of the Breakdown Show on YouTube. I am so glad I got to leave you a voice message today. I left you a call about a month ago and I hadn't gotten a call back yet. So I wanted to follow up. I understand that if we want the tea, we got to get it from you on the podcast. But I still want to ask you some questions because you told us to call your phone. So that's what I'm doing now. Feel free to give me a call back. I'm sure you see my number on your caller ID. This voicemail is being recorded, so I'm not going to leave my phone number on, you know, this recording. But I definitely know that you see my, my phone number on your caller ID. So please give me a call back. You may have trouble pronouncing my name. Some people just call me Della. It's okay. I'm happy to talk and we can hash it up. And you know, while we're talking, we can practice some of those words you've had trouble pronouncing. I may give you a little bit of pro bono work. We'll see. Anyway, feel free to give me a call back and we'll chat it up. Thanks for being such an amazing mayor and a cautionary tale. Have a great day. All right, we'll see if I get a call back. We'll see how it goes. Anything. Hold on, hold on, man, man, man. That's a bitch that can't stand the heat. She got up and responded to nothing those people said. Them people ain't say nothing about nothing, and she just responded in the way that she wanted to, and then dropped the mic. Man. Wait, did you see her? Nine seven six eight five nine. You need anything? She said, "I'm about to go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go." Because she can't stand there. She can't stand there and listen to those people tell her what needs to be said. Like most dictators. Hold, hold on, hold on, man. 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 Man, you, you, honest, this is the constituents. This is the same thing that we deal with as a board. I understand you're the mayor, but you can't duck down the people. You gotta be, you gotta be, what? Did anybody feel she talked down to them? Okay, I'm telling you how they feel. I'm telling you how we feel. You gotta be mindful of that. You gotta be mindful of respectful. You can't say y'all gotta learn. That's the same thing we did with in the board. All I'm saying, we have to learn position. Okay. Um, let me say this, um, Mayor. First of all, I want to thank you for coming out. I know you got a prior engagement. Um, what we have to realize uh, in this situation, we got two things right now. We got People's being censored um, or feeling they're being censored because there's no in-person meetings and we got the, the recall on the table. As it pertains to the ordinance from the governor, we can't do anything about that. So to me, I just think that what you're saying, you're going to post a letter to put people at ease. It's not just you doing it. That will put people at ease to make sure. If there's a letter, how come it's not something people can see online? Why do we have to wait for Keith Freeman to doctor up a letter and put the state seal on it? So that they don't think that the mayor is censoring them, but this is actually an ordinance that you got from the governor. Um, so if people knew that up front, then this conversation wouldn't even be had about Village Hall. That's number one. Number two, as far as the, the recall is concerned, for me, 
I ran on this ticket. I door knock with you. I door knock with all the trustees. Now, what I'm saying, it's an election. It's a process. You, if you want, if if there's anybody in this room that want to run for that seat, run for that seat. I, me personally, recalling her. That that to me is a look too far. But what the conversation, which is what Jason House said on the meeting last week, the conversation shouldn't be continuously repeating what the problem is. We got to figure out what the solution is, and that means we, you, mayor, trustees. Y'all got to figure this thing out because y'all are the leaders of this town and we as the residents are suffering because y'all can't get it together. Mm. Now, I'm just going to keep it real. It, the conversation has to be had of not what the problem is, but how can we fix what we already know what the problem is? Keep going back and forth, making you feel some type of way like you being attacked or them feeling like you dictating to them. And, and I'm going to say this, you my mayor, stop saying you the mayor. Everybody knows that already. Right. You don't have to keep repeating that to the trustees. Right. Don't say that because everybody already knows. We know your I know your heart. And I know you still learning this position. You young. You still trying to get it together. You a new mom. You got a lot of variants going on, mayor. But you got to take a pause. Wait a minute, bitch. Wait a minute. You're young. I think she was 37 at the time. She was, she was 20, I think she was 34 when she broke into that car. Yeah, 37 or 38 at the time. Young, she's not young and she's not a new mom. She's been, a, she been fucking for a long time. She's probably had several abortions. This is just the one she decided to keep. Okay. And she's not a new mom. That child is two years old and she's got plenty of help. She got family and some more shit. She makes enough money at this point to hire help. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So let's not give her excuses for being incompetent. Because I could do my job in my sleep. I was in labor still working, bitch. I was in labor. Having a baby still working. In labor. Still working. Okay? And I still had to do my job the way it was expected to be done until I took the time off and went on ahead and had my baby. And even then, I think I was back to work in three weeks. Yeah, I had two nannies. I used my money to buy the help that I needed to take care of my baby so I could maintain my professional life so she could live well as she does. I spent a lot of money on child care. To make sure that I'm able to do what I need to do professionally. Well, I traveled with two nannies. They had their own hotel and I had mine. They was across town with my daughter at a hotel. And I was across town somewhere else doing what I came to town to do. So let's not say she young. That bitch is like two, two years younger than me. I'm 43. And I consider myself to be a, a woman of prowess. Proficient. Not incompetent. There are no excuses, honey. Especially once you get to this stage in the game. She's not young. She's stupid. Let's call it what it is. Sit back. These people right here, these, these trustees, I'm asking you because I was right there with you. Day in, day out, rain, sleet, or snow. Let, if, if you need somebody else to sit down, I'm willing. Let's all sit down and figure out a solution because keep bringing this same stuff up. We're study going backwards. We're study standing still and nothing, although small things are progressing, the major how, problem how, how is... How do you think this buck tooth nigga think about this shit now, sir? What do you think about this now? Because you're one of those people Keanu Belcher was talking about last night who was like, why y'all want to recall the mayor? It's just five of y'all can't get along with her and now you want to recall her. And now there's a $7 million deficit and probably even more debt because there is a difference. How you feel about her now? That's what I want to know. I have constituents that are millionaires looking for to do infrastructure, bring businesses. But you know what they're saying? Dalton is a risk. Dalton is a high risk simply because of what they're seeing on TV. 
sin on the, on, 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 the, on the me. We can't. Here's the thing. You said this a thousand times when it was Mayor Rogers. We can fight in the back room, but when we get out here, we need to show a united front. That's what you said. And let's do that. Because when y'all get on these board meetings, it's disheartening to see that it's the back and forth. You know, and, and again, the way you perceive disrespect. I'm going to need black people to stop being so emotional and uncomfortable with conflict. That's why y'all lost Africa. Because y'all didn't want to fight a war. It may not be the same way somebody else perceive it. But if they're communicating that it's disrespect, then believe what they're saying. And try to adjust it. You know what I'm saying? And the trustees the same way. Respect begets respect. Y'all got to understand. We all in this together. And again, I know under the sound of my voice, all of us are God's children. All of us are not perfect. But what I will not do is allow Satan to come in to divide and, to, and conquer this village. And I know I got some. Who is Satan though? chat about the adversary because he tired of y'all fucking with his name we gonna have a talk i got your back on C. i'm tired of it too shit who is satan by definition satan is the adversary he's the accuser of the brethren right if satan is the one bringing y'all these problems why don't y'all just talk to him and find out what to do why would you sit around a table with a whole bunch of coffee and try to brainstorm solutions to the problems that my friend the devil is bringing you huh why would you work around him if he's the one bringing you the problems why wouldn't you have enough wisdom spiritual power and fortitude to ask satan how to solve this problem no because you're spiritually arrogant you've been convinced that your god is the only god but your god created satan too bitch and satan is a god that's why you call him the devil he's one of many one of many devils but he is the devil just like y'all talk about the white man and make him a god you you made Satan a god. Olosi was just chilling in the forest, minding his business. Y'all made him into a god. So why don't you ask him how to solve this problem? Because he already told me what to do. Prayer warriors in this room that know what it means to call on the power of God to fix what's broken. Because see, Satan, he will come in. He will come in the form of a trustee. He will come in the form of a mayor. He will come in the form of a police chief. He will become in a form, however he can get in, he will get in. But it's up to us. He will come in those forms to humble you. The purpose of the, okay, I'm going to tell him, Olosi, I'm going to get to it. Because I know I've been playing this game with y'all where I've been dropping hints. But let me just tell you, in the real spiritual world, outside of religion, where you're told one thing and you're only allowed to believe and study one thing, please understand that we are all a part of supreme consciousness. I can grab thoughts from anybody because we're all connected to the same consciousness. OK, that's why when I get stuck on words while I'm recording a video, I grab the word from y'all in the future while you're watching the video. And I bring that word back to the past while I'm recording so I can get the word right. So by the time you watch the video, I got the words. I got them from you in the future because we're all a part of supreme consciousness. God, Jesus, the devil, Buddha, Hindu, Krishna, Lakshmi, Kali, uh, Ogun, Oshun, Olosi, they're all a part of the same supreme consciousness. You, me, and everybody else. Every thought that every was, every idea that every was, every desire, every passion, every ambition is all a part of the same consciousness. There is no difference between Jesus and Satan. They're both ideas. They're both thoughts. They're both figments of your imagination, just like the God of Israel, the God of Jehovah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, people you can't even prove ever existed. Okay? Okay? The purpose of the devil, and when he introduced himself to me, because I am spiritually powerful and because I don't fear, I don't live, operate, move, breathe, or have my being in fear, because of that, when the devil presented himself to me the very first time, I was like, hey, what's up? What, what you, what, what's going on? 
what what's going on why are you presenting yourself to me and then it made everything make sense and i have had several conflicts when i tell i'm sorry i'm trying to put some eyeliner on while i talk it's not very smart i have had several conflicts where i have gone to the devil and been like okay what's going on i have a monthly practice where i go to him in advance and ask him about the challenges that are to come that i may not be able to see and you'd be surprised what the devil allows me to know is coming my way so that I can prepare. Okay? Because everything don't got to be a fight. I'm going to tell you one thing the devil ain't never told me to do. The devil ain't never told me to fight nobody. There have been several times when I've said, okay, Olosi, the situation is in my life. You see it. You brought it. So what do I do to overcome it? And he said, one thing you're not going to do is fight. You're not going to fight this situation. This is not a situation where you need to pull out your big guns. What you probably need to do right now is just humble yourself, chill, and go with the flow. Because everything is working out for your good. So just be cool. Just be cool. I had a, a conflict with one lady that was years going on. Years and years and years. And I asked the devil. I sat down with the devil. What do I do? And the devil told me exactly what to do. Gave me the exact instructions. I followed those instructions and me and that lady were able to reconcile our relationship to the point that she was with me when I had my baby. While I was going in labor and, and, I, and I was alone. She was holding my hand. She was rubbing my back. This was a woman I wanted to fight just months before that. I was able to resolve the issues that I had with this woman because the devil gave me the word on how to do it, gave me the instruction. And I always ask the devil because one thing y'all Christians don't do is know how to work with an offering. That's why you still broke. OK, I have a, a agreement. I won't give you too much because you might not be ready for it. But I'll tell you this. Only thing the devil wants in exchange is your obedience. And by obedience, I mean, if I give you advice, take it, bitch. If you ask me what to do and I give you the advice, the only thing you need to do is take it. I don't want nothing else. I don't want a goat. I don't want a chicken. I don't want a turtle. I don't want a hen. I don't want meat. I don't want smoke. I don't want drink. I don't want nothing. I just want you to live in peace because the purpose of the devil in your life is to strengthen your weak ego, teach you how to pick your battles. Teach you how to have conflict resolution with people. One thing you've never seen the devil do is fight, baby. You've never, sir, ever seen the devil fight. There is no historical recollection of the devil getting into a fight with anyone. Everyone's looking forward to this big battle between Jesus and the devil because y'all ain't never seen the devil fight because he don't have to. He's smarter than that. Shout outs to you, Olosi. Who got the, the vision, the knowledge to see him when he comes in, we got to pray him out. Thank y'all. Thank you, ma'am. God bless you. Let me tell you, last thing. Reconsider, trustees, reconsider recalling her seat. And I'm going to say this for a reason. The reason you reconsider recalling her seat is because if you recall her seat, we're going to end up like a Riverdale. We're, we're going to end up talk. like a heart. There go that nigga talk again. You know, it might be worse on the other side, nigga. So go ahead and give your loyalty to master. He going to take good care of her. I know he beat you. I know he rape you. I know he make you eat chitlins that aren't good for you and bring you low vibrational energy and bad health. I know that's all we got, but we could be over there like Riverdale. If we not careful, nigga, fries ain't ready yet. The fries ain't ready yet. Pull up to the next window. Now ain't the time. We could be like Harvey Riverdale if we don't let this nigga exploit extort and corrupt us and bankrupt this town nigga dumbass nigga we're here we're gonna end up like these other places because the the economic development they will cease to come into this town we gotta show something different because here's the thing if you want something different you have to do something different and that means y'all too. Y'all want a different result. Y'all don't want to feel like you're being attacked by the, the citizens. You got to humble yourself. You got to do something different. Let's go. Let's get it done. Because we can do it. Because we got the right people, y'all. It ain't a mistake. God do not make mistakes. He, God.
God is not an author of confusion either. So right now, it's some confusion going on. So that means somebody else is in the midst of this thing. And we need to find out who it is and let's get them out. Uh, why couldn't it just be the mayor who's causing the confusion? Hmm. Or, or is it because you got some political favors in the chamber that you still got to cash in? Any, 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 anyone else? Anybody? Any other residents? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I've been a resident for Dalton for the last 44 years, and I've seen a lot of people come and go. And in that time, uh, in uh, within the last uh, month and a half, uh, there's been a lot of issues about the water bill. We all know that story, okay? It's been going on for years. And I'm glad to see that there's somebody sitting back now and going through the files and they're checking and checking and checking. Where did this all begin? Because it started when back in 2015 when they started a minimum of 10 units, okay? Now... What I want to uh, say is that in one of the meetings, they said what they thought is a good proposal is to have notification for the water meter people when they will be in district, well, whatever they're called, one, two, three, or four, so that makes us aware of when they're going to be in our neighborhood so we can be there or someone can be there in order to come into our house or wherever the case may be. Now, uh, I would like to see that done and follow through and where, because in the meeting um, on the, uh, the YouTube, that was wonderful, and I was looking forward to that, but there was nothing that followed through where we would find the list at. So uh, I look forward to seeing that soon, and uh, so I know when to welcome Curtis or Daryl into Ooh. the house so they can take my meter reading. Why because then all the When to welcome Rashad or Tanik, <laughs> Tariq or Dante into my house? 44 years I've been here. Only in all that time, I've only had one estimate bill. All of them have been accurate. Even though I worked back in the time, too, but I was able to get the information and work with the people in the water department. So that's just my own personal experience. And so kudos to them for looking into this because uh, the way it was set up before wasn't that good. Okay? Okay, thank you. I wanted to say something about the COVID. As soon as I was eligible to get the COVID, I got the Pfizer vaccine. I did not have any side effects. I got I, those that are funny. I think that's the end of her being there. Let's see. You know her, right? Good afternoon, everyone. Um, let me just say something in regards to the recall, just so, because it seems that people have it twisted. The trustees are not the ones who are pushing forward for the recall. It's right. the residents. Right. They can't reconsider anything. If the residents ask them to do a recall, the recall has to be done. We, we, we don't get to say get humble six seven months in after we've been going through pure hell right. in our it's the we feel that the taxpaying residents you know we're watching a lot of people who aren't here don't live here here 22 years uh make decisions for us um maybe the residents don't feel like we have time to wait for somebody to learn or to get humble the residents have asked for a recall. The trustees did not. I mean, we don't have in-person meetings, but if you look in the comments on the YouTube Zoom meetings that we do have, people are in denial because people are saying do a recall. Residents are saying that. So it's, it's not what the trustees are wanting to do nobody is a hater you know we live here life is real it's not for play we need to do what we need to do 
And if if this is what's going to make a move or get us some changes or 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 get uh, our water situation fixed or you know whatever it is, the residents are asking about this, not the trustees. The trustees were willing to give as many chances as they could. And going in the back room, I get that, and we don't want to see a lot of fighting, but we need to know what's going on. We don't know what's going on in the back room. Right. Yes, yes, yes. You got something to say? Okay. Hold on right here. I, I know that the infrastructure bill has passed, but has Dalton, what are Dalton's highest priorities on spending infrastructure dollars? And that would be dealing with flooding and, and uh, uh, streets. But flooding is a huge issue in Dalton. But that hasn't been flooding. Hit. People's basins are getting flooded, going to residents' homes, and their basins filled up to the to, to their thigh. Get a standpipe, but I'm I'm all for that. And oh, I've been in I've been in City Hall, so it's not closed. Right. So I don't know why we can't have a meeting in right. there. Right. Go ahead. I like to ask uh, Trustee Holmes. I know a lot of times vision, and you know, uh, channels. Just wondering, what are you really doing out here in Dalton? Hello. Okay, it's on. Testing, testing. I'm a trustee. I got elected out here. Whether you see me or not, it ain't about the TV. I don't need the televisions to help enhance the quality of life and solve crime. See, I heard that once before that you don't come unless it's the televisions. It's the televisions don't solve crime. We had 14 homicides here, and I've been in touch with all 14 families. And I do have seminars for you as well as adults about being proactive about these crimes. Certain places I go, we have human trafficking seminars. So just because you see me on the TV, as a, if the crime happened, when somebody loses their life, it's very serious to that family. And if the family contact the media, which they do, and the media contact me because they want assistance, I'm going to be there with them because they done lost. When the last time the media called Andrew Holmes and said, come out to a crime scene, we found out there was a crime, and we know that you are the guy to solve the crime. Loved ones. So I'm working, and I'm doing what I have to do. I don't need the television. I do more work behind the television than I do on the television, in God's name. I don't, I don't, I don't mean any disrespect. Oh, no, you didn't you know, disrespect. You asked me a question, and I answered it, sir. Yes, sir. When you when you ran up on uh, up on a Riley's ticket, I voted for you, and I was at your uh, you know, your inauguration, and you said you was gonna come in Dalton, and do this and do that. So I was just wondering, you know, what are what are you really doing? That's all. Why did that answer this question? <laughs> testing, testing. No, you you that wasn't offensive. I respect for you for what you're saying, sure but when most of your sleep. I'm still out here with the adult. I run into What does that even mean? How do you be little people when most of you are asleep? Do you realize some of these are working people who work at night? When most of you are asleep, I'm still out here taking care of Dalton. But why hasn't things gotten better? Why haven't things gotten any better? There's just more murders. Obviously more rape. You're part of that. That's what they say. I don't have to say allegedly because I said that's what they say. Get into it. What are you doing? Yeah, you've been in touch with 14 families, but then what? In touch as in, hey, I'm Andrew Holmes. I'm sorry to hear what happened to you or what? Because you don't have any legal authority to solve any crimes. You don't have subpoena power. You don't have anything. So what are you talking about? You shouldn't even be on the fire committee 
or the police can Ed out here sometime at 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning trying to follow the information and get the intel to give back to the detectives of what we done found out. I'll be out now, at night. Why I run is the Andrew Holmes getting, in, getting intel for the detectives? Does that make any sense? Ed off and on at night because certain places is where certain criminals be. Police can't be everywhere all the time. The eyes and ears, the people that live in the community. So those the are, question is going to end up being in some of those cases, how were things obtained? Was information or evidence obtained legally? And a lot of those cases end up getting thrown out when they find out a nigga like Andrew Holmes got the intel. The eyes and ears. And the person that can solve these crimes out here, not the media. Police can only get so much information. But the citizen and the taxpayers that stay out here that knows the information can solve these crimes just like that. That's and I appreciate the uh, residents that have been giving up that information because a lot of them, they don't tell the officers everything they know because they have fear. And I understand the fear of the officer coming there and you're pulling up in that marked car when you should be in that unmarked car or you should just talk to them on the phone and have them meet you at a location. So y'all do know that Andrew Holmes is an FBI agent, right? That's not speculation. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see if I can find the video while we're here together. Let me see. Give me one second. See if I can find the video. Give me one second. If I can't find it, then I, I won't worry about it. But... Um, There it is. Let's see. I got that call that night and I was headed there when I got just about on the highway when they told me she didn't make it. Mm -hmm. So I know what these fans are going through. You know, at one point I'm, I'm out there just to help them. But when it hits your doorstep, you understand why you're really helping them. And not until the end. You can do all the work you want to do out here and help people and try to stop this violence and try to engage them with all law enforcement agency. You only know that feeling. But until it hits your doorstep, then you understand the full effects of it. So, you know, yeah, I do. So, but, uh, you know, we just, we just keep working, picking at it and asking people to engage all law enforcement agency across the United States just to help them. I mean, we can bring this gun violence down to zero. It's just a matter of people. If you see something, say something. Even if it's your own family. Now, why would the FBI do a profile on Andrew Holmes? There's a zillion activists out here. A zillion. I mean, literally, a zillion. Why would they do a profile on Andrew Holmes? Why would they have a whole one minute video, one minute and 11 second video, highlighting Andrew Holmes? And the comments have been turned off. I believe that's new, because I think last time I was here, there were comments on this video. But why is the FBI-Federal Bureau of Investigation with 243,000 subscribers doing a video on Andrew Holmes that only gets 3,000 views. Does that make sense? Why would they do that? For what? For why? Let's go back to where we were. Hold on, where were we? Um, we're getting there. Hold on one second. Damn, how did I how did I lose it just that quick? Hold on, hold on. There we go. Let me get back to the video we were at. Now I gotta find it again because some reason it's not showing up in my history. Let's see. There it is. The location where they can talk because their safety is our number one concern. So if we do get that information and that intel, and these shoes do get wore out that I wear. Thank you. Jesse, 
at this point, Tiffany Henyard has left. The main purpose of this video, this breakdown conversation, was I wanted to show you her behavior at the Dalton Park District and how she behaves when she's alone and out of control. She don't want to feel that again. So why in the heck would she come to the Dalton Park District and do a meeting? She can't control the mics. She can't control what people say. She can't tell people to be quiet. She has to sit on the same level as the trustees and all of that. Here's a great example. She don't want to go back to these days. Mm. Well, for now, that's all I got. I ain't got no more. <laughs> I holler. I holler.